Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to look at the new adjustment brush tool in Photoshop Beta that simplifies the process of making local adjustments by applying the adjustment using a paintbrush. I'll click and hold on the brush icon and then choose the adjustment brush tool. From the options bar, I can select from any of the adjustments. Photoshop will automatically set my foreground color to white and as I start painting in my image, we'll see that adjustment. In the Layers panel, we can see that Photoshop has automatically added an adjustment layer as well as a mask, filled the mask with black so that when I paint with white, I'm revealing the adjustment in the image area. If I paint in an area where I don't want an adjustment, I can switch to the brush with the minus icon. Photoshop will automatically toggle my foreground color to black and now we can paint and hide that adjustment in that area. We can also use the properties panel in order to make additional adjustments to the adjustment layer. Let's use the contextual taskbar to add another adjustment. I'll choose exposure, get a little larger of a brush using the right bracket key, and then paint in the sky. However, Photoshop is lightening the exposure, so I'll use the Properties panel and just decrease it in that area. If I want a more gradual fade of the adjustment, I can tap the G key to select the gradient and then click and drag within the image to create a gradient within the mask. We can also start with a selection. I'll use the Marquee tool and select the left side of the image. Then I'll tap the B key to return to the adjustment brush and select the black and white option. As soon as I click within the selection, Photoshop will convert that selection into a mask and we can see the results on the layers panel. Of course, I can always continue painting within the image or use additional commands like edit and fill in order to fill with white the entire mask so that the entire image becomes black and white. This time, let's choose to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. However, when I start painting, we don't see any adjustment in the image, and that's because I've already applied the black and white adjustment layer. So let's choose Colorize on the Properties panel, and then shift the hue as well as the saturation and paint a little bit more in order to make the sky area blue. I'll return to the contextual taskbar, choose Photo Filter, and again I'll start painting in the image to apply the adjustment. Here we can select from any of the different filter presets or click in the color swatch and then select our own color from the color picker and adjust the density of the color. Now because the adjustment layers that are created are all non-destructive, we're going to maintain the highest quality image as we make these adjustments. And any of these layers can be hidden or revealed at any time. And we can make additional adjustments such as changing the blend mode or the opacity in order to create unique effects. So the next time you want to paint in an adjustment, use the new adjustment brush and be sure to give the Photoshop team your feedback.